Hey guys, welcome to In The Glow, your destination for all things clean beauty. If you're new here, I'm Emmeline, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Dr. Hauschka Foundation. So I bought mine from Lifestyle Health in Belito, but you can purchase it from a few different online retailers like Faithful to Nature and Wellness Warehouse, where it retails for 620 Rand. I'll post the links below in the show notes, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, so the foundation itself is completely natural, it's clean, and it's vegan, so it ticks all the boxes. The ingredients are also mostly organic, which is great. So um, in terms of any problematic ingredients, it does contain alcohol. So alcohol is listed as the second ingredient. But on the Dr. Hauschka website, it does specify that the alcohol is used as part of a very carefully formulated composition. So it shouldn't dry out the skin or you know irritate the skin as alcohol is known to do. Um, then it also contains coconut oil, which is highly comedogenic. <laughs> Did I say that right? I always get it wrong. Um, yeah, which means it clogs pores and can aggravate acne. Again, I'm sure it's part of a very carefully formulated composition, but if you do have acne prone skin, you know, just be aware of that. And then it also contains mica. So if you've watched my other videos, you'll know that there are some ethical considerations to take into account um, when buying products with mica in. But again, I did a little research and Dr. Hauschka says that they make every effort to ensure that their mica is ethically procured and they demand trade certificates from all of their suppliers. So that's great. Um, yeah, and then there are a few other ingredients like linalool, limonene, uh, geranial, uh, coumarin, eugenol, and farnesol. Ooh, that was a mouthful, I think I've gotten them all. <laughs> but yeah, they are naturally derived but known skin irritants. So if you do have very sensitive skin, just err on the side of caution and do a patch test before you put this, like, you know, all over your face. In terms of the packaging, it comes in a plastic bottle with a pump top. Um, there are seven shades in the range from very light to sort of like a medium dark. Would be nice to see them add a few more shades, especially on the dark side. So I have the shade um, Macadamia here. It's the lightest shade. I find that it works for me. The product does tend to oxidize when it's on the skin, so it gets darker. Um, so yeah, it, it looks very different like on the skin uh, than it does like in the bottle. So just a, a heads up on that. Um, I would classify the coverage as light. I mean, you could maybe get a medium if you build it up a little, but definitely on the lighter side. Um, it's also a very, very matte finish. So I prefer a more dewy, glowy finish. So I, I wasn't really the biggest fan, but if you love matte foundations, you will literally fall in love with this. Um, given my dry skin, I also found I had to wear a really good moisturizer and a primer like underneath the foundation. So what I found worked best for me was the Skin Creamery everyday cream and then on top of that as a primer I used uh, the Hey Gorgeous tinted moisturizer so it doesn't actually like have any coverage it's not really tinted it's a beautiful product though it just gives your skin the most radiant glow I'm going to be doing a review on it next week um, so it actually worked perfectly underneath the Dr. Hauschka foundation because it just added a little bit of radiance, a little bit of glow, which I really, really loved. In terms of application, I found that using a beauty blender sponge worked best. Um, I tried using a foundation brush. I found it to be a little bit streaky. I tried using my fingers and I found that the foundation, yeah, just didn't really blend very well for me um, using my fingers. Um, and before I apply it and show you, I just wanted to mention mention that sometimes like a little crust can form at the edge of the bottle if you like have left your foundation to sit for a little bit. So just be aware of that. 
when you pump out the foundation you will need to throw that little crust away before you apply it on your face okay well let me apply it so you can get an idea of what it looks like So I've got the foundation on my skin now. As you can see, it's got a beautiful velvety matte kind of finish, just gorgeous. The coverage is light, but it's actually great for an everyday look. Um, yeah, it feels like my skin, but just a little bit more beautiful and a little bit more even. <laughs> You can also see there is a slight glow um, because of my little Hey Gorgeous Tinted Moisturizer as a, as a primer trick, um, which I really, really like. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I need to use powder over this, given that the finish is so matte. And honestly, I found even without the powder to set it, it still lasted a full eight to nine hour day. So it really, really performed well. Um, Overall, I would still tend to recommend it to people with a more oily or combination skin. I think it would work better for them. If you do have dry skin, just make sure that you use a good moisturizer and primer and then it, it would work for you. Um, also, it is going to be better for people who do prefer the matte finish. If you prefer a, a dewier finish, you're probably not going to enjoy this so much. Um, yeah, but I really did enjoy the foundation and it has a host of beautiful nourishing ingredients inside it. Um, if you look on Faithful to Nature too, it's got rave reviews. I know Sean's enjoyed it. It's my mom's go-to. Um, yeah, so it's a good option. Like I said, for people with more combo to oily skin who want a matte, uh, matte finish and lighter coverage. I would love to know if you guys have tried the Dr. Hauschka foundation. Let me know in the comments below and let us know if there's any uh, anything else or any other foundations that you would like us to review. Okay, bye for now.